And Andrew Little appeared flustered and flummoxed when he was questioned by the media over his party's strategy on foreign buyers and the stats they released on Chinese-sounding surnames. One of those getting under his skin, as he always does, uh, was 3 News political editor Patrick Gow, who joins me now. Paddy, good morning to you. Good morning, Paul. Um, let's talk about Andrew and his inability to, to sort of justify what they've done, his inability to answer questions. It strikes me, you see, over this whole thing, I don't, I'm one of the, maybe the few that doesn't actually think it was racist. I think it was very clever politics. But Andrew Little, to me, is showing that he just isn't up to the job. Yeah, well, you're quite right. It was very, very clever politics, very cynical politics. And yes, there is an issue there, surely, with foreign buyers in the Auckland property market. But you can raise a serious issue like Labor did and play the race card at the same time. And the issue for Andrew Little is once you play that card, you've got to stay in the game. You can't just walk away. He's got to stand there and defend that policy to pretty reasonable, robust questions that he knew, were, knew was coming. But to snap uh, like he did yesterday, yep. shows that he might have a political glass jaw. He, Andrew Little might just have a glass jaw in terms of political questioning and robust political debate and questioning by the media. And that has to be a worry for someone who is auditioning Paul to be Prime Minister. Okay, and that is the key to this, isn't it, Paddy? Because if you're the leader of New Zealand First, if you're leader of the Greens, or if you're silly old Peter Dunn, you can just throw stones in and walk away. When you are auditioning for the top job, you can't walk away, you've got to follow up, and he isn't up to it. How worrying should this be for Labour? Yeah, very worrying, because you're quite right, they knew this was coming. This is not some sort of shock that, that there was going to be questions like this and uh, criticism about playing the race card and stuff like this. This would have been thrashed out in strategy rooms, and in some senses they want to fire up the race debate because that's what makes it the clever politics. So they knew it was coming, they want the criticism, they wanted to hurt some people out there to make it work like this. They knew this was coming, and that makes Andrew Little's snapping yesterday, yeah. uh, blowing, a bit of a, blowing a bit of a valve, uh, all the more all the more concerning in terms of the politics because he knew it was coming. All right, let's talk corrections now. And um, the corrections minister, Sam Lotowinga, how much trouble is he in, do you think? How long can he hold on to that portfolio? He is under incredible pressure. And uh, this is a real third term thing, actually. Um, the Labour Party will remember well that corrections really dogged their final term. Mm. And up until now, it's been not too bad for National. But Sam Lotterwing are now under exceptional pressure. They should have known about those fight clubs. They should have known. Well, Him and Ray I mean, should have known. Exactly. You're exactly right. And and Kelvin Davis is has come perilously close to basically saying Ooh. they're lying. I mean, if Ooh. and it does seem hard to believe if this report was around um, when he said it was around, and I think that is one little bit of proof he's actually got, how is it possible these guys didn't know about it? How is it possible that something like the Fight Club and something so uh, obviously controversial as the private prison, how that did not get to the, chief, the, to the desk of the chief executive, yeah. Ray Smith, and then onto the desk of the minister, beggars belief. Calvin Davis there making some incredibly strong allegations as well about what happened to that prisoner. Oh, Evans. God, yeah. He's got to be careful. Up, up north. He's, he has to be very careful. He's making some incredibly strong allegations, but also this whole thing needs to be investigated and not by corrections. This is too serious. Fight Club has become too serious. Those allegations about that prisoner as well. Uh, I think maybe the police need to come in here. We need something bigger. And Sam Lottowinger has to watch. Has to really watch himself. He is in serious, serious trouble as a minister here. If he Agree can, entirely. if there's anything found, anything found that he he knew or should have known about that Fight Club, he's in big trouble. Yep. All right, Paddy. Thank you very much for joining us. Agree with you entirely. Our political editor, Patrick Gower.